So we're going to start off with um, doing a dragonfly. Um, so line work's quite important um, our art skill with this drawing. So obviously there's different types of lines, curved, bent, zigzagged, um, and they all add a decorative element to the, um, to the picture and, and a sense of movement. So using the construction line for the middle of um, the dragonfly, this is going to um, give the drawing direction. So we're just going to draw, draw a line across, and then we're going to add a little head and part of the body, a big circle for the thorax, an oval for the abdomen. Okay, so then, and this is the, we'll just make that a bit longer, so that's for the tail. So you can kind of already start to see a really simple line. So then we're going to sketch a half moon shape for its eye. And then we're going to add in his wings. So I'm gonna do the first wing, kind of from the top upwards, and this one's going slightly, so then I'm going to add another wing for the other side, which is going to go in the opposite direction. That one's gonna go there. Okay, so then we're gonna add some bent lines in for the legs. The dragonfly's legs are always up the top, so we're just going to do a bent line there, and then we're going to break the legs up into three parts. And then this one's going to go like this. And then that's our basic body shape. So we're going to create the outside form of the dragonfly and we're going to define the curves and the outline. We're going to start with a wavy outline that forms the top and the bottom of the wings. So we're going to do a little wavy bit there and then we're going to just kind of curve this wing down to build up the shape. And let's cur curve that round round there and we're going to do the same with this wing so we're going to take the, the straight line and then just kind of curve the end and then come down trying to get it in the in same um, size as that and this one is actually going to be a bit lower than this because it's behind the dragonfly's body so this is going to come kind of like this so a bit of a curved like this okay basic dragonfly body so we're just going to now curve all this round and make it into a kind of proper dragonfly shape rather than just lines and shape to the legs and then to the back as well and we'll just add another little leg in there so I forgot about this back leg and then a really light line for that for the other back leg A really good thing if you're doing this is look on the internet for pictures of dragonflies and you can really get all the detail. I'm going to do quite a basic dragonfly um, just to show you how to get the basic shape in but there's some amazing images of dragonflies on the internet. So just, you know, have a look at um, typing dragonfly and then go into images and you'll see some beautiful dragonflies and it can... You know, some of them are so close up and so detailed, you can get a really, really good picture and um, that you can use, you know, practice your observational skills because um, that's how you can get a better artist, just keep practicing. So I've just gone round and I've just curved all these lines down like this. So I'm just going to add some curved lines here into the dragonfly body, all down the body and then just along with the tail as well. So once I've got my basic shape, then we can get rid of all those extra lines and we can add in details for the wings um, and then we can maybe add some background detail. So I'm just gonna finish the, off this sketch and I'm going to um, add a little bit of shading in using my drawing pens and a bit of color just to kind of bring it to life. So um, I will just do that now on um, time lapse.
So I've got my basic, um, some basic colour in. Once this is dry, I'm just going to go over and give some um, detail to the wing and up towards his body. This is a bit, little bit wet still, so you do kind of need to wait for them to dry really. Um, otherwise it gets a bit, um, you kind of wreck your pens. So, and also I'm gonna just add some little hairs on the dragon line, uh, dragonfly's legs. But as I said before, have a look on Google. Um, once you've got the basic shape of the dragon, you can look at the images of real dragonflies online and really add some beautiful detail and better shapes and everything. It's really good to do observation drawing. It will really, really improve your drawing skills. Okay, so there we have a very basic uh, dragonfly. We're going to um, uh, create the baseline at a slight angle to help position the grasshopper correctly. So we're going to draw a small circle for the head. Really lightly, again, not with your pencil. Going to draw a bit of a kind of triangle shape for his mouth. We're going to um, draw a square shape uh, with no bottom left corner. So for his body, so a bit like this. Rectangle shape for his body with kind of like a leaf, leaf shaped um, tummy down there. So we're going to add his legs in. So one's going to come up here, a little circle for the joint. That's going to go down. And then for the front leg, that's going to run kind of parallel with this back leg here. Do another little circle for the joint, and then that's going to go back down there. And we're going to do some front legs. And there we have our basic, very, very basic shape of our grasshopper. Do this other front leg as well. Create the grasshopper's form. Um, we're going to focus on making all the line work really smooth um, so you begin to really define the shape of the whole body. Um, we're going to add him in the eye in a minute and then we're going to create the outside line work for the legs um, and draw in a soft line work for the wing. So I'm going to just start lightly penciling that in. Again, I'm going to go over this in ink because I love my ink pencils and I really like adding a little bit of colour. I think it kind of just brings it all alive. You don't have to, of course, you can just focus on doing um, doing it in a pencil and focus if you want to do really good observation or just use the shading and things. But I like to add a little bit of colour, I just think it makes it a bit more interesting. So I'm going to do this bottom bit. This bottom bit here is going to, so this is going to be the top wing shape. So I'm going to just put this up like this. That's going to form the top of the wing. And this bit down here, under here, is going to be the body. Um, so you can kind of see that starting to form there but as I said it's really light so we need to um, we can rub all these pencil lines out as well so I'm just going to go and uh, start adding in the detail for the legs time I draw grasshoppers I always think of that story about the grasshopper who didn't work he just played and danced all day and my little girl loves that story I think that's why I like drawing grasshoppers it reminds me of that story <laughs> okay so we're just adding I'm just adding all the legs in making them look more like legs and not less like sticks. Again, you need to have a look at the images on on Google to get some really nice grasshopper images and once you know how to add in the basic form, then you can just have a look at the images and add all the detail in to make it really realistic if you want to. Or you can just do it like this and make a little cartoon grasshopper. Depends on where you want to go with your drawing, really. Okay, so I've just added my little legs in. I'm gonna add in his eye. Make that a bit rounder, I think. So we're gonna add some um, grasshoppers, um, uh, what they called antennae, <laughs> just some lines there. And now we're going to add some pattern to the grasshopper's um, uh, tummy. So we're literally just going to do some lines like this, a bit like when we do the dragon's belly as well. And then we can add in um, the, the details. We've added the antennae in. 
maybe a little bit of a mouth. I'm going to make this wing a little bit longer. And I'm going to do a little one there that kind of suggests that there's another wing behind it. So I think that I'm quite happy with that uh, basic sketch. So this is going to be the leaf or the stick of the leaf. It's going to stick on that one like this. Okay, so um, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm just going to go over in my pen now um, and then so I can rub out the pen line and then add a little bit of colour to it. So now for my um, favourite um, insect, the honeybee. Um, I've got um, a lovely video that I'm going to post at the end of this, um, uh, this video of a little bee um, that was almost dead. Um, and me and my daughter gave it some sugar water and we've got a really beautiful close-up image of it uh, drinking the sugar water. It's absolutely fascinating. So let's, um, let's have a go at drawing the honeybee. So um, texture and shape and line. Um, are going to help construct this image again so we, um, it's important to pay attention to the construction line for the backbone of the bee and the curved and rounded shape that make up the bee's form so um, we're also going to be aware of the texture um, for the bee's hair and um, the pattern on the wings and the abdomen that make it so um, distinguishable as a bee okay so we're going to start by drawing the center of the bee um, in uh, doing our construction line so we kind of want that curved shape of the bee we're going to add, start, we're going to start off with his, uh, the tummy. So we're going to do a circular tummy there on the back part of the bee. So the back part of the bee is kind of a leaf shape. So I always think of it. They've got a little uh, sting at the back, haven't they? And that kind of, the top of the leaf bit kind of goes around the circle. So again, we're pressing really, really lightly. So we can always adjust this. So for the top, we're going to do kind of a semicircle and then a little kind of triangle for the head. We're going to kind of make that turn that into a curve then. So we've got that kind of B-shape B head. I'm always working along this construction line as well. So we're going to add some wavy lines for the wings. Uh, so Big, uh, big wing and a little wing and a bit of a squashed oval for the eye. So I'm going to add um, the wings, Just the, uh, sorry, we're going to add the legs which are just some um, stick legs to start with. So we're going to do the two side legs and the leg that goes towards the back. And so we're just doing pointy lines for the legs. Okay. So we're going to um, start sketching the cracked um, line work for the veins and the wings. So um, I'm going to do a really, really basic um, wing detail on this. But again, have a look at images um, so you can get some beautiful detail of what wings really look like. So I'm just going to just kind of do cracked sort of lines like that because I just want to do a, a very basic B just to show you how to do the basic. Okay. So we're going to just start um, adding in a bit of hair because they're quite furry, some antennae. You can work on this. So this headline, I'm going to make really, really furry. And then this is going to be his tongue. Now, have a look on the end of the video. They've got this pointy bit and they've actually got these bits that kind of protect the tongue. And then they've got this weird kind of feather thing I've never know I never knew it before until I saw and um, so and then we're going to start adding the uh, shape of the legs in as well okay 
shape, so there's my leg shape. Okay, so I'm going to start adding some kind of furry detail to this body. I'm going to just make this back bit of the honeybee a bit fatter. And that's the, I want it to be quite a fat bumblebee. So there's this little sting there. And then I'm going to start adding some line to the bumblebee as well. Okay, so um, I'm quite happy with that basic shape. Um, I'm going to just start sketching in and doing some shading now and then go over with my line. I actually think I'm going to make this wing a little bit bigger. Um, and then once I've finished that, I can start adding in my, my pen to kind of make it come alive and add a little bit of colour because I love bumblebees. I'm looking naughty at Mama. I'm looking naughty at it. Yes, can I keep it forever? Well, bees don't really like to be kept forever. But I think she's really enjoying her drink, isn't she? Yeah. It's made, made her very happy. Take it away. Look, 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 can you see her tongue? 
Can you remove it? Oh, she liked that, didn't she? She really enjoyed it.